Well, this is my bodybuilding journey. I was in my 50s. I just finished caring for my mum who'd had to go into a home. And I was at a loose end. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to go. Um, you know, I just had to start something again. And I wanted to get healthy and fit, and I wanted to set a really big goal to help me achieve that. And I decided to do bodybuilding. It was something that I've never done before. I'd never thought about it before. It never been of interest to me when I'd seen other people bodybuilding. But I don't know, it just came into my mind and I thought, okay, well, I'll give it a go. So I started looking for a, a, um, a trainer, somebody who was experienced, who knew what to do. And I ended up going to a bodybuilding competition in Caloundra and one of the guys that was they introduced on stage, I said, I'm going to go and ask him who his trainer is, it must be somewhere here on the coast. So I did and he introduced me to Scott Hipwell and Scott said, yeah, come down to the gym and uh, you know we'll have a chat so he invited me down to the gym I went down to the gym we had a chat and he said yeah I'll train you and in the gym uh, when you look around there's all these posters of people that he has trained to championship level there's lots of um, trophies on the wall and so it felt like it was the right place he obviously knew what he was doing very experienced my name's Scott from the Muscle Hut I ran into Wendy 18 months ago, actually at a comp, and she came up and said, oh, I'd like to do one of these one day. Do you, do you think we could do it? All right, let's come over, we'll have a look. We'll get some proper weight training in place, get some proper nutrition in place. And, and over the time, we've, we've stuck to that. We've, we've had a few little hiccups as far as tears and a few noises and crying, but that's, that, that, that's part and parcel with all the comp prep. It really is. It's, if, if, if you want to do it well and you want to get good results, it's hard and it's not cut out for anyone. It really not. And I mean, Wendy's done great. Like she's lost over 25 kilos of body fat and she's, she's going really well and got a really nice little physique from where she started. But she's earned it too. But like she's, her, her weights have tripled in lifts. Like where we started 18 months ago, like her weights have more than tripled in her squats, deadlifts, that sort of stuff. Like most of the movements she couldn't even do. For your general consumer that's scared to do it, it, it is hard work, but it's very achievable. It really is. Like anyone can do it. It's just following a process and being strict and disciplined at it. Hi, today I'm doing some food prep at home because I've got to eat five meals a day and I just can't make it fresh all the time. So um, I've got to prepare the food for the week and I've got a few different things here that I'm going to be making up. I really love eating. I never really took much notice of what I was putting in my mouth because I just love food, especially junk food and chocolate, especially chocolate. Uh, I think actually chocolate is a bit like crack to me. Um, I found it really difficult when I first started to, to have five meals a day because I'm used to just having, you know, getting on with my work and getting through things and then finding that, um, you know, it's three or four o'clock in, in the afternoon I've only had one meal. So I had to really set alarms during the day to remind myself to eat. It's really important to weigh everything and have everything measured so that you know exactly what you're eating because my trainer is calculating exactly what I'm eating, exactly what's happening to my body so that he can then calculate how much uh, cardio I need to do, you know, what weights that I need to do, um, you know, and how I'm going with everything. You might hear my dog snoring in the background. He, he loves to sleep after he's had a good feed. So, yeah. My favourite proteins are barramundi. I never used to eat fish very much, but uh, now I eat it probably two, two times a day. So I get all my fruit and vegetables from the markets because it's very fresh. I get all my proteins, my beef, my pork, my uh, turkey, chicken and fish all from the supermarket. Now I've weighed up my barramundi, I need to work out how many portions that is so that I know how much uh, sweet potato to cook. 
So that's uh, 10 portions. Okay, so I've got to um, make up 10 portions with the sweet potato. So that would be, I'm allowed to have 75 grams per meal, so that's 750 grams all up that I can cook. It's really important uh, to be organised and, well it is for me anyway. So what I do is I make up all the portions that I need and then I just freeze them. So it just makes it really easy, I can just grab a pack whenever I need it. Um, if I need to um, go out during the day or you know whatever I'm doing. I just put my proteins, my carbohydrates in each dish according to the, the calories I'm having that day and I can just grab and go. I've got to have 10 meals of greens to put in the containers so I need to weigh and measure that as well to make sure I've got the right amount. It's important now to just measure and make sure I've got approximately 125 uh, grams in each container. I've finished now, I've got my 10 meals made up, ready to go, I'll put those in the freezer. Now this is only going to do me for three days, so I'll do this process again for two or three other proteins so that I've got a nice variety throughout the week. I was a little surprised when you told me you were going to do bodybuilding. Mm. It's nothing I've ever thought of doing before, I've never been interested in it, I've never been a gym junkie. Well, I panicked when COVID kicked in and the gym's closed, I absolutely panicked because I've yeah. never been motivated to train at home. And um, Scott was saying, oh, you can do this and that. It's like, I'm not doing it though, what am I going to do now? Yeah, that was fantastic when you told me that you're doing bodybuilding and that you're going to go and do the competition. I'm like, wow! I thought it was just would be amazing for other, other people at your age mm. to get inspired. It's yeah. like a lot of people think they eat the 60 and like, oh my god, it's the end of the world, or this, it. this is it, towards the end, going down mm. or something. Mm. So this is going to be amazing for people to look at you and go, and like, oh wow, this is the beginning. Now you're at the point in the end, this is the toughest part mm. because emotionally it can start really playing with the headspace. I don't know about starting, um, it's been playing with my head for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <But laughs> <right. laughs> Yeah, no, it's just been a fascinating experience to, to watch myself yeah. just grow and develop as a person during this whole process and become aware, you know, when things are getting me down and when things are not right and, and pulling mm. myself up and, you know, making myself change the way that I see things so that yeah. I'm not getting upset about things and that. So, yeah, it's been a very interesting process. I'm, I'm pretty good with the training, but there was one day I, I, I was pressing and and I just started crying because I was so tired and I just didn't have it in me to push myself to do another yeah. press. Sure I had not. to do 10. Yeah. And so, and I'm sitting, standing there crying. One of the guys came over and said, how many more have you got to do? I said, four. And he said, how many you go do? I was like, I just needed that person. <laughs>
So yes, I'm just really tired. It's been a long road. Last 18 months have just had some really big highs and some really big lows. And the biggest low came two weeks ago when my mother passed away. That was really, really hard because the last two weeks are the hardest to get to the competition. You're on really low calories, high exercise, you're really exhausted, you're hungry, you're thirsty, and you just gotta keep pushing yourself. And then I had to prepare for my mother's funeral as well. It was a really, really tough two weeks, but I'm here and I'm going to get up on that stage and show everybody the transformation that I have made of my body over the last 18 months. My mother will be proud of me. She is proud of me. She always will be proud of me, as I am proud of myself. What I have achieved at my age, 58, doing something like this, if you had have said two years ago, I wouldn't have believed you. I would have just laughed. But here I am, ready to get up and do what I need to do to get where I need to go. Well, it's getting later and I really need my sleep for tomorrow. It's going to be a really big day. But you know, when things keep going around and around and around in your head, very annoying. bad. She's a little bit stressed at the moment. She's and, a little bit stressed? Uh, just a little bit stressed and not sure what she's meant to be doing and Scott sort of given her a bit of a serve and said just stop and listen, do nothing unless I tell you to do something. So, That's good. Are you helping around? I am, hopefully. <laughs> You're doing a good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
was my uh, the, my first performance for the day, and I was incredibly nervous. And yeah, so I don't know. I'm just going to go and rest, relax, and get ready for the next one. Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Good <laughs> That's so awesome. And my son was like, stop yelling, I'm like I can't. She needs to hear me. I was so proud. Oh my goodness, you did so well. With all the poses and confidence. Yeah, I'm just really, really, really proud of her. So excited. I was so I, I, I don't know how I had voices still. <laughs> yeah, the way they did. thank you. She gave me her trophy. <laughs> Yeah, I got your post. Yeah. Yeah. She got inspired. Maybe next year I'm going to be there. Oh, yeah. How about that? Yeah. I love it. Oh. Inspiration right here. Yeah. Well, Wendy was wonderful, happy, and I hope. I know, I know she likes all the medals and the jackies in the stage for the Medusa Thank you, sweetheart. Oh. And we love her. Thank you. 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 But uh, the last three months have been really incredible. She's been so dedicated and stringent with everything she's supposed to do. And I'm very proud of her. The results are here today. I know she's proud of herself too. Congratulations. And she is so thin. <laughs> That's a bonus. <laughs> I was very nervous the first time I got up on stage um, and I didn't place and that was all right. I went back, relaxed, uh, got myself sorted, got my head sorted. So the second time I went up, I was much more ready. 
and I placed fifth, which I was really excited about. Um, and then I went up again, and then I went up again, and then the last time I placed fourth. So I'm obviously improving each time and getting my posing down right and getting, um, you know, becoming a bodybuilder. And that's really exciting for me because I've never ever thought that I would do anything like this in my life. But I've transformed my body and I've transformed my life. And it's just such a fantastic journey. If anybody ever thinks of doing it, please do it. It's just wonderful. Or do something. Just focus on something and do it. Because that's what I've done and I have really achieved something.